The next thing we will want to do is to check the post and URL structure. So if you go to your existing Squarespace site and you go to the blog page, for example, you will want to see what the blog page is labeled. So in this case, we have blog-1. To maintain that link and you know, some sort of linkage back from uh, Google, you will want to make sure that your page uh, for the blog is called blog1. So in this case, we have a blog listing1. I'm just going to check and see what that is. And I can see that the URL isn't really correct here, blog listing1. So what we can do here is uh, edit the page and make the uh, link the same. So blog-1 and just hit OK. So again, you can just hit edit at any stage and then hit update. And that means now that the current uh, blog page is the same. And again, I would suggest going through each of the pages and making sure that they are going to be labeled correctly and the URL structure remains the same. So you could do that for any page. For example, we could go to the about, uh, about page and we know it's about one. Find the corresponding page in, uh, in your new WordPress site and then just make sure that it is also labeled about one. So we have about, I'm just gonna change this to about, and about one. Just make sure that the pages are, are linked properly. This is pretty important guys, just so you don't have any broken links. Again, you can check this in uh, Search Console afterwards, and then you will be able to know if all the links work from your existing site. For the actual blog posts, you will also wanna check those out. So let's just go ahead and check the structure for those. Let's go to a, a blog page, and then let's go to a single blog post, and we'll just see what the structure is. So right now you can see it is blog 2017, 11, seven, and then the name. Now, if I was to go to a blog post in my new site and view one of those, we will check the structure and we'll see that it's actually incorrect. Uh, 2017, 11, 07. And then one thing I've no noticed about the import from Squarespace is that they import a date for each uh, of the blog posts. So if you were to hit quick edit, for example, you'll see that they add the date to the slug. You'll want to remove those and you'll want to update each of them individually. Now this is a little bit tedious, but it will mean that linking later down the line is going to be uh, better and you're not gonna lose any of that SEO if you have generated some of that in the past. So as you can see here, uh, the link has 2017.11.7, 7. update that. Now if we're to view it, you can see that the link would be the same. So again, I'll just give you one another quick overview just so you can make sure you're setting it correctly. You will want to check your blog post. You'll want to check the structure. So let's go to any post once more. Let's click on that. And you'll see that we need year, month, day, and then the name. And again, if we go to settings, permalinks, if we were to clear this, we could add year, month, day, and then post name. And that's custom structure. And we could save that and then we would know we have the correct post structure. Again, you can also find that as a, um, as a standard setting here, it's just then name. Uh, it will also be the correct structure that you need for your blog posts. So we have uh, imported the posts. We have imported any images that we can possibly import. Uh, we've checked the URL structure and, and we've uh, made sure that it's working. Um, one other thing that I've noticed, and that is uh, the purchase key, as you can see, there's a red warning. This is something everyone should do. Uh, make sure that you add your order number from your site and add it here. So whatever your order number was, it will be used as your ID, and that will allow you then to update your theme and get those updates whenever we start releasing them for your theme. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use uh, your Flow Theme site. Uh, how to add some slideshows, uh, your galleries, and update your pages. And uh, with these, you're, you will understand the principles of how to create your new site. Again, you'll want to refer to the documentation when doing so, but I'll go through the process to show you how that you can start updating some of those pages, and then you will just repeat the process for each page in your site. And then finally, in the last tutorial, uh, we will show you how to test and make sure your site is working, and then how you can launch your website.